Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com. And what I want to do here is just show you a real easy way to add and subtract fractions. Okay, so most of you out there probably um, hate fractions. <laughs> most students are like, oh, I don't want to deal with them. I'll get my calculator out, turn them into decimals, and add them. And, and I can understand. I mean, I, I don't think I necessarily like fractions either. But the correct way uh, to do a fraction problem um, when we're adding and subtracting is to actually change the denominator such that we have a lowest common denominator, right? Okay, so once we have a lowest common denominator, for example, if I was doing this problem, 5 sevenths plus 1 sevenths, okay, if the denominators are the same, well, this is really easy, right? All you have to do is simply add the numerators. So 5 plus 1 is 6, and we would just write that over the lowest common denominator, which is 7, and I'm done. So that's pretty easy for most students. But now when you're facing a problem like this, 2 thirds plus 1 half, um, you know, students generally just kind of freak out. They're like, oh boy, now I have to find the lowest common denominator, etc. Okay, now this is really easy because the LCD is 6. Okay, and I don't want to review how to actually do this. Not the point of this uh, video, actually how to find the LCD, change the fractions, etc. You need to know that. But what I'm going to show here is kind of like a, a nice little shortcut that's a real powerful tool, and you, you need to know this anyways, especially in algebra. Okay, It's a great way of working with fractions. So this method is, um, I call it the bow tie method. Okay, now Here's a little bow tie. A bow tie basically looks like this, right? So this is what I call it. Um, but you can call it what you want, uh, but it's kind of a shortcut way to add and subtract fractions. So let me stress that now. This is only for adding and subtracting. It has nothing to do with multiply and dividing uh, fractions. All right, so let me cut to the chase and tell you what this method is. Okay, so it's real easy. So here we have 2 thirds plus 1 half. What you're going to do is you're going to take this number here, you're going to multiply it by this number there. Okay, so what's that? 2 times 2 is 4. So you'll write that here. Okay, now because this is an addition problem, I'm going to write a plus, and then you're going to have this number times this number. See a little bow tie forming? So 3 times 1 is what? 3? Okay. So that we're going to write a 3 right there. And now the last step is you're going to multiply the denominators. That's 3 times 2, and that's 6. Okay, you're going to put that as your denominator, and you're done. Okay, so 4 plus 3 is 7 over 6. Now, yeah, this is an improper fraction. In other words, that the, uh, the uh, numerator is bigger than uh, the denominator, but still, this is a perfectly fine answer. Okay. So what did I do? Go ahead and just erase this here for a second. Erase all this just to review. All right, so I said 2 times 2 is 2, or 2 times 2 is 4. I wrote that uh, right there. Then I went 3 times 1 is 3. I wrote that there. This is an addition problem, so this is our numerator. Okay, that first step is our numerator. And then the last step is just multiply the, denom uh, the denominators. That's 3 times 2, and you get 6. Okay. And then just go ahead and simplify from there. Real easy. It's a great, great method. But let me go ahead and um, show you a few more examples. Let's go and just make something up. Let's see here. Maybe 4 fifths minus 1 third. Okay. All right. So this, uh, this technique works for addition and subtraction. Same thing. Okay. So this is going to be 3 times 4 is 12. All right. Now this is a subtraction problem. So I'm going to put the subtraction... Uh, symbol right there. And now next, it's going to be 5 times 1, which is 5, over 5 times 3, which is 15. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this. This would be, what, uh, I guess 7 over 15, and we're done. All right, that's real, I mean, really easy. doesn't get uh, much easier than, easier than this as far as adding and subtracting fractions. Now, this is fine. Uh, with these nice little small denominators. Here's the one thing that I found using this bow tie method. When you have something like, here, let me give you another example. Let's show you where this can cause you some problems. Let's say you had 3 over 20 plus uh, 1 fourth. Okay. Now, typically, what you would want to do is recognize that okay, the lowest common denominator between 20 and 4 is 20. So this is the way... I would normally do it. Say that's to be three twentieths plus. Now to multiply, I would multiply five. Okay, but both 
the numerator and denominator. So I would change this, it, um, this fraction 1 fourth into the fraction 5 over 20. And then I would go ahead and just add the numerators. I would get 8 over 20. So that's what you would typically want to do or how you want to change things. But if I didn't do that, because our answer would be 8 over 20, then we could, of course, reduce. If I didn't do that, let's see what the bow tie method would do for us. Okay. Okay, it's going to work. It's still a good method, but watch what happens. You got three times four, or excuse me, four times three is twelve, plus twenty times one. Okay, now I'm going this way. Twenty times one is twenty. Over twenty times four is eighty. So now we're left with this fraction here. Uh, let's see here. We're going to add the numerator. It's going to be thirty-two over eighty. Okay. So it's just going to be more work when you're when you're left with this answer 32 over 80. We're, we're going to go have we're going to have to take the additional steps to reduce our answer. So you do want to reduce or simplify your answer. Um, you don't want to leave it unreduced. In other words, if you gave me the fraction 10 over 50 and I was your math teacher, I'd be like, <laughs> you know, I'd take some points off. You know, you want you want to always present your answer in its most simplified manner. So in that case, it would be one fifth. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at one last example of this bow tie method and it's it's really really uh, powerful and this is where it really uh, pays off in algebra is when we have fractions uh, with variables so let's say we had x over y plus z over w okay now we're asking ourselves well what's the lowest common denominator and there's ways to go about and find that but you can um, just simply just use the bow tie method here uh, to handle this. Okay, remember these are fractions and we're adding them. So we can just use this method. So this is going to be w times x or x times w. So I'll write it this way xw plus y. Okay, this is addition. y times z. So I'll write that as yz over y times w. Okay, and that's it. Okay, that would be your answer. Okay, um, I didn't have to think about it. It was just kind of like a process I took. So the bow tie method is excellent, excellent shortcut for handling um, fractions. It only works for addition and subtraction. Okay, you definitely want to know it. And uh, you know, if you're like me, uh, probably like most people who just you know kind of don't want to deal with fractions a lot, but you you have to do them. You can just kind of kick into your brain. All right, bow tie method, do it, and just watch out um, at the end that you're more likely going to have to reduce or simplify your answer. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. Uh, please come by our website, algebratesthelper.com. Um, it's a great free resource, a uh, lot of videos, a lot of uh, great tutorials designed to make math easy to learn. Okay, so take care and good luck.